Time to play with some clay. Well, I'm going to make some beadwork, and I guess the best way to do it and, uh, is uh, flatten out some clay, have it all the same uh, thickness going all the way down so I don't have, you know, wavy uh, beads. So I'm going to get this as straight as I can by pressing it up against the edge of this uh, ruler. Cut it. I'll make enough beadwork for both sides. Now the reason I put the tape down is because when I cut on a wood surface the grains tend to make the uh, knife blade wobble and I don't want to wobble. All right, Let's see how wide do I want to make these beads. About a quarter of an inch. These will be early beads pre-1850 they'll be pony beads or even quill work the uh, small seed beads that you see on a lot of mountain men outfits modern day that are seed beads would not have been in the west in the 1840s or 30s it would have been seed beads or pony beads okay I've got to prepare the uh, area of beads are going to go on. It's a little thick right there.
Pony beads had simple geometric designs and that's what I'm doing is plotting out the design on the uh, beadwork and it's got to be even there I'm just putting a heavier line at the uh, division so that the uh, patina person will know where to uh, color and make the color changes it'd probably be a simple uh, dark blue and white set of beads a patch of blue patch of white patch of blue patch of white just simple design and now I'm just filling in back edge of the uh, beads so they don't you know sit too high above the uh, leather you didn't get ge uh, geometric uh, triangles and things like that with pony beads only because like I said it's uh, it's a big uneven sized bead and you couldn't do tight tr intricate designs like you see with seed beads seed beads are more uniform in size and shape so you could uh, get triangles and crosses and all kinds of geometrics you can't get with seed, uh, pony beads. Now the reason he's got a gun case is because that uh, flint locker percussion rifle that he's got would be very precious and you wouldn't want moisture to get into the firing mechanism firing mechanism <laughs> mouth doesn't want to work so it uh, would have been protect the rifle from the elements. It would have been brain tanned leather, but it would have been smoked to give it a uh, waterproofing. Um, when teepees were made out of buffalo hides or they uh, would burn fires inside the teepee, of course, for warmth. But the area up around the top of the teepee would get dark and black uh, because that's where all the smoke was going. And uh, they found by using that leather when they replaced the old buffalo hides, because they would, you know, after a while, have to be replaced. Uh, that that smoked area was very waterproof and so they would make uh, moccasins out of it and other items that had to be waterproof and a gun case would be one of them though I think a softer skin would have been better not quite so thick as a buffalo hide so it would have been elk or deer all right I gotta put beadwork down here at the bottom of the gun case right above the uh, fringe that uh, goes right there
again I gotta put the same pattern That's the uh, clay for now. And the reason I came up with the uh, title of Real Wealth is that this old mountain man who took himself a wife after he traded uh, several horses and some other items that uh, her father accepted as a gift, as payment for her, as a dowry, you might say. Uh, he took her first as someone to keep him warm at night and uh, to cook his food and do things that uh, he didn't have time to do because he was busy trapping fur. They had their first baby and he stands there with her, looking out over the prairie at sunset, and he's saying to himself, or thinking to himself, this is real wealth. Furs and plues can buy things, but the real wealth is family. All right, that's going to be it for this week. I'll see you next week. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.